Call tonight's nice Board of Commissioner meeting to order. Apologize for being late. Our workshop ran over. Um, the tonight's meeting is June 21st, 2018. The first item on the agenda is the roll call. Um, Commissioner Rainey is not here, so um, I will start with um, Commissioner Lucas. Present. Commissioner Burks. Present. Vice Mayor Crutcher. Present. And then I am present also. Okay, next item on the um, agenda is prayer and pledge. And then Commissioner Lucas is going to lead us in the prayer tonight. If you'd bow your heads. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this evening. Uh, thank you for the blessing that we have to be in this uh, community that we all love so much. Be with each of us as we make decisions to uh, better this community. Um, and thank you for everything you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item is approval of the agenda. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second, and then we have two um, additions. And the first one, I guess, would go under new business. Let's see what that would be. It would be 12E, Mayor. 12E, okay. Okay, and then we have the um, interlocal agreement for emergency response. Is that correct wording? That's correct. Okay, and then the um, second one would be the bid for the mowing. Yes, Mayor, that's correct. Okay. Any other changes or additions? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, the next item on the agenda is a public hearing, and we don't have a public hearing tonight, so we'll move on to item five, citizens' comments. Do we have anybody here to speak tonight? Okay. Item six, awards and recognition. Do we have anything? Okay, moving on. Item seven, public announcements, and I thought I would give... Ms. Johnson, if you don't mind, just a minute to talk about the 4th of July. Anything that we can share? Sure. Um, the event this year is going to start at 4 o'clock. Fireworks will be shot at 9 o'clock. Uh, it's just a little bit later this year. It's a little darker, better for that. This is going to be our biggest fireworks show yet, so we're really excited about that. Um, we should see a little difference in the um, number of shells and that kind of thing. Um, we have two musical acts this year. Um, one is a band called The Remnants, and the other is Mips, and they are um, artists for, uh, or sorry, musicians for some of the local um, country artists around town. So really good musicians and should be great. We're going to play some, uh, just a mix of 80s and 90s music, all kind of genres. Should be lots of fun stuff you can sing along to. Um, got lots of food vendors. I think we have 10 now. Uh, the free event t-shirt for the first 1,000 attendees. A lot of the same stuff, but some new stuff. Bouncy houses for the kids, face painters, that kind of thing. Great, thank you so much. I know it's always a lot of work and we appreciate you working so hard to get it done. Look forward to the event. Okay, is there any other announcements? Okay. Staff comments? None tonight? Okay. Approval of the minutes, and they're under the consent agenda, so we'll move to item 10. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, no old business tonight, so we'll move on down to new business 12A, um, a special event beer permit for Jingo Market, um, valid 
only July 3rd, 2018, at the Independence Day celebration. Move to approve. Second. We got a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, we'll go to a roll call vote. That will be Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. Commissioner Burks. Aye. Commissioner Lucas. Aye. And then my vote's aye. Okay, motion passed. Then we have 12B, resolution 14-18. Resolution of the City of Fairview, Tennessee, designating certain vehicles as surplus, authorizing their disposal, and authorizing the designation of said vehicle auction proceeds. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, go to roll call. Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. Commissioner Lucas. Aye. Commissioner Burks. Aye. And then my vote's aye. So motion passed. 12C, resolution 16-18. Resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Fairview, Tennessee to formally accept the subdivision improvements associated with Hickory Springs subdivision. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, we'll move to a roll uh, vote. Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. Commissioner Burks. Aye. Commissioner Lucas. Aye. And then my vote's an aye, so it passes. 12D, cancellation of the July 5th Board of Commissioners meeting. Move to approve. Second. Got a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, we'll start with um, Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. Commissioner Lucas. Aye. Um, Commissioner Burks. Aye. And then my vote's an aye, so motion passed. That brings us to um, 12E, Interlocal Agreement and emer Emergency Response. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. And it's just a interlocal agreement we have and basically um, we're renewing the contract for just for the record. Correct? Yes, Mayor, that's yes. correct. That's a that's a lease agreement we have with the Williamson County regarding the fire station on station on Highway ninety six. There's no change other than the dates. They still pay the same amount of, of rent or lease that they do and it just extends it for a year and it's an annual renewable lease. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so we had a first and a second. Um, so I'm gonna believe I'm gonna get it right. Um, Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. And the second was Vice. Yeah. And then um, Commissioner Lucas. Aye. And then my vote's aye. So it passes. That would um, bring us to 12 um, F, and that is the um, accepting the mowing bid agreement. And if you want to explain anything, Mr. Mayor, Cop if I may, before we begin the discussion in this, I'm going to recuse myself from both the discussion and the vote. Okay, thank you. Yes, Mayor, members of the commission, um, as you know, we've been working for a couple of weeks, or actually longer than that to improve some services that we're providing to the citizens and make sure that we're doing that in the best, the most fiscally responsible manner that we can. Um, one of the things we, that we've looked at um, is the chipping service. I know we've got some calls on that. We, we're, and we haven't stopped that service. We've just run into some issues where we weren't capable of running it efficiently and with the staffing that we had. We first looked at bidding out the chipping service and establish um, a more standardized system for that, but that just wasn't financially feasible to do. So the second effort was to free up some existing staff from some of the duties we currently have. And one of those uh, things that we looked at was um, some of the mowing around the city. What you have before you is a, a mowing bid where we put out for bid, uh, mowing certain um, properties within the city to free up that time. That's what you have for you. Um, the lowest responsible bidder uh, is what we've asked you to do. This contract is um, really an agreement where we have no binding contract with the bidder. 
Um, there's no year-long contract. There's no specific number of MOs or services. It's an as-needed cost per location bid that you have before you. So if we use them once during the year or 20 times or 50 times during the year, it's the same rate for those sites, sites during the course of the year. What we'll do with that is if it's um, approved by the board tonight, we'll assign those duties out to the bidder until such time as it's not needed or we learn that it doesn't work. We're confident that it will. We're then gonna move some staff out of the park into public works and reassign them to some additional duties within the city. That's going to free us up the ability to establish standardized routes for chipping with the existing staff we have. So this is an effort, although it's a mowing bid, the effort in the mowing bid is to increase our ability to perform the chipping task that we're performing within the city. So that's the genesis for, for how we arrived and that's what we have before you tonight to consider. Okay. Move okay. to approve. Okay. Second. Got a first and a second. Any more discussion? Okay, we'll go to a roll call. Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Commissioner Burks? Aye. And then my vote is an aye, so motion passes. Thank you. That brings us to 13 city managers item for discussion. Uh, yes, Mayor, a few things um, to discuss with you tonight. The first is the chipping service itself. As you know, we've had a couple of discussions on, on how to get that up and running. Um, the staff and I have met, to their credit, they've done a good job at trying to put together a system that we know will be successful going forward and that we can communicate to the citizens for what we're doing. Uh, the plan is, as we finalized today, or began to finalize today, is that we're going to establish a standardized chipping service that will take place on Tuesdays of each month. We're going to divide the city up into four quarters based on the ability to provide those services, not necessarily geographically the same. Um, once we get that divided out, we're, we're working on a map today, as a matter of fact, then we will communicate with the citizens through um, website, email, direct mail, and a notice in their water bills that they will be on a set date and time so they know when that chipper service is gonna take place. Again, we'll divide it up into four. We'll do that on four Tuesdays of each month to provide that service and we know we can accomplish that. As a follow-up to that, we talked about establishing by ordinance the ability to um, determine what size of debris, piles, or other things we're going to pick up, how we're going to dispose of that, and the ability for a citizen or resident to leave that debris to be picked up out on the side of the road for a certain period of time. I met with the city attorney regarding drafting that um, ordinance. We met Monday to go over that. We're in the process of having that to you. We expect to have a first reading to you at the next council meeting for your review. That will include um, the establishment of, of that schedule is how we're going to provide it as far as what will be picked up. It will also include some sort of penalty or other detractor from having people to put their debris out for an extended period of time. We talked about 14 days, whereas if you know that your, your pickup is the third Tuesday of each month, we don't want you to put it out there 30 days ahead of that because it causes health concerns and other things, visibility, um, they all can be a factor. So what we wanna do is improve the services, make sure we keep the roadways clean and put it, do it in such a manner that we can satisfy the customer's needs to get that service done. So we know we have that coming to you. It's not been forgotten. There's just a lot of work that goes in behind establishing those routes and reassigning duties of our, of our current personnel to get that done. So just an update on, on the chipping service. We will actually pick up the chipping service I'll, in an unstructured manner to get that to get the work done beginning next week. So the chipper service will be back up and running. We'll have the routes established in August. We'll run them for a month to make sure that they work and then we'll get the mailers out to everyone in mid-September to be effective in October. But we want to make sure we, we don't put something out too early and recognize that it needs to be changed. So it's just a process of going through, um, but we're eager to get that, that system back up and running. Secondly, we're in the process of redoing the city's website. As a part of that, we'd like for our business community to, to be a part of that website. 
So as a part of this meeting tonight and some communication with the chamber, what we're gonna do is invite our local businesses, businesses located in the city of Fairview, to send us something in an electronic format that we can have a link to local businesses on our city's website. So if you're looking for a service or some other thing, they will have the ability to be referenced on our website. So anyone who looks on there will be able to see those and hopefully communicate with them some manner um, through our website to have some identity for our local business, which we, businesses, which we think was important as we grow the community and, and market ourselves in, in that manner. And lastly, we have talked about um, some way to improve our working relationship with our businesses as we, as we go forward. And we like to implement a business of the month where each month we recognize a local business for their, their work in the community or, or being active in the things that we do. Um, the process for that would be very simply, we would rotate each month where each elected official on a rotating basis has the ability to, no, to, to nominate or recommend a business of the month. We would then bring them in, recognize them and have a gift pack or something to kind of let them know that we appreciate the work that they do in the community. I, I think if we move forward with the business of the month, I think if we move forward with having the local businesses being able to be attached to the city's website, even in a small way, that helps us promote some of the growth that we want to see here in a positive manner and show some appreciation for the businesses who've made their investment here in Fairview. So that's a general um, review of what we're working on on the electronic side and on the infrastructure side. Be glad to answer any questions from both of those, but um, those are some updates we have for things we know we're having the works coming very soon. So. That's all I have for you tonight. Mr. Collins, if you could explain some of the issues we've had with the size of debris piles and why we're trying to regulate that some. Yes, we. Um, the size of debris and what we're picking up has, has a couple of components to it. First, um, we're not a commercial garbage or trash service. The, the, the chipper service is really intended to assist the homeowner who's done some cleanup or maintenance around their home. Um, what we've run into is where someone's remodeling a home, they put their debris out on the side of the road, they've cut trees or other things and they expect the city to come and pick those things up and we're just not equipped to do that. For a couple of reasons, first is the chipper itself. The chipper ha only has the ability to chip a, a limb or debris that's four inches in diameter or smaller. So when we get trees or other things out there, we're just not equipped to do that from the actual chipper itself. And then, as related to that, we're not able to haul or carry those, those type loads. Second thing that we get into is we're small um, staff-wise, and we run the risk of um, workers' comp issues, injuries, time, or other things that when we do more than we're staffed or equipped to do, that presents problems for us. So what we want to do is provide the service to the homeowner as it's intended, provide it safely as it's intended, and not use city resources that are to be used to really to do the services for homeowners and turn ourselves into a commercial chipping or debris removal. So with the um, restriction of the size that can be picked up, with the restriction of what can be picked up and an established schedule, we think we can improve the services reduce worker injuries or reduce the, the ability to have those employees injured in that way and communicate to commercial um, contractors or others that it's their responsibility to remove, remove that debris. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, city Attorney, do you have anything tonight? Mayor, anything I would have said is covered by the city manager, so no, thank you. Thank you. Um, moving on to communications of the mayor and commissioners. Commissioner Lucas. Nothing tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Burks. Nothing tonight. Thank you. Okay. Vice McGratcher. Nothing tonight. Thank you. Okay. And I don't have anything tonight except happy um, 4th of July Independence Day because it um, appears we will not see each other before then. And enjoy the time and please come out and join us for our celebration. If I can get a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. I got a first and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.